Hey guys, what's going on? It's Link here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make 1 million gold in a span of 10 to 15 minutes. Now, all you're going to need to do here is you're going to need to have LJ in your party. This is essential because she's going to be giving you an item that you're going to want to sell. You're not going to want to consume it. You're going to want to sell this item. Okay, so the way that it works is like this. I have a video that I recorded from my stream of me doing this. So we're going to go over to my PC real quick. I'm going to mute this real quick and I'm going to show you guys the uh, the method here. So this is the video, right? So what you're going to want to do is go over to LJ and uh, have her join your party and whatnot. Now, in order to make her join your party, in case you're wondering, is her friendship level needs to be high enough or at least get everybody's friendship level to one, which will give you a seal. Uh, and you're, you're going to equip this seal. And what this seal does, if you look over at my gameplay screen real quick, this seal will allow you to ask people that your friendship level may not be too high to join you in your uh, in your team. So if your friendship level isn't high enough, do this. If it is, you ain't got to worry about this step, to be honest. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to equip an ability. Now, first things first, you're going to run over to the main exit of the town and you're going to run over to any single mob that or excuse me, any single monster that doesn't do any damage to you because you need to make sure that you don't die while doing this. Now, you're going to notice that I'm doing something here real quick, and that is spamming this ability. You can spam whatever ability you want, but the reason why I'm doing this is because if you see on the top right, I, uh, sorry, top left, I need to figure out a method to lose as much health as possible without dying. The fastest possible to do, the fastest way to do this is to lose your RP really, really fast. That way you start losing your health after your RP is gone. Now, in case you're wondering what ability it is that I'm using right now uh, to be able to lose my RP super fast, I am using this ability called Grand Impact. It is a hammer ability. You can use it with any weapon, obviously, and you just completely mash the button every single time you hit the ground. Uh, you will lose a bit of RP. So that's what I'm currently using. So as you can tell, I'm using my RP. I'm starting to lose my health. I keep going, I keep doing this, and I have that much health left. Now, after I have that much health, I will go ahead and go over to any particular mob, specifically these guys up here. If you look at the top right of the map, they're pretty much north of the main gate exit. You probably, you've been here a couple times, trust me. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just kind of hang out here and let these guys attack you. Remember, they don't do any damage at all. They're very, very weak. Now, you're going to want them to attack you. And what's going to happen is every now and then, every, let's say, every minute or two, give or take, LJ will notice that you're hurt and she'll throw something at you. What you want to do is dodge the item that she's throwing. Do not stand still because if you stand still and she hits you with the food, you will automatically consume it. So you need to dodge the item. Don't worry, it's not that difficult. You can see her pick it up for about a second before she throws it. Dodge it. The reason why you want to dodge it is not because you're going to sell this particular item, but if it heals you, then she's going to stop throwing you food because your health is back up. So you're going to want to dodge it and continue to dodge anything she throws at you. She throws at you regular curry. She throws at you that. Uh, she throws at you rice balls, sushi, so on and so forth. But what we need is the following. So this is me continuing to do this. We're about two minutes into the uh, the video here and whatnot. Four minutes now, give or take. We're about five minutes. At around the seven minute mark, she's going to throw me a little something that uh, you need to watch out for. So we need to get ready here. And this is very crucial. So she's going to throw me this. Obviously, we don't want that. She throws pancakes too. I forgot. You also don't want that. Oh, by the way, pick it up. When she throws it in the ground, pick it up. You won't consume it. You could just sell it later on or keep it for, you know, your adventures and whatnot. So she's going ham. Also, I must add, these guys take a while to hit you. I find that if you stand near them and you just kind of walk around them and, like, push your body into them, they will smack you. Um, which is what you want, obviously. So as you can see, she's trying to uh, stand behind. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say, too. If you walk up to her and interact with her, you can tell her to kind of like stay back so that she doesn't walk forward. The reason why you want to do this, too, is because she will actually hit the freaking uh, orcs and she might kill them and you don't want them to die. So just kind of tell her to like hang out in the background. Don't tell her to stay over there, but just tell her to like, you know, chill, if you will. Um. So here it comes. I'll make sure I don't actually miss this part. So she's going to have something called the Royal Curry. This 
is the item that you want. There it is. That's how it looks. Remember this because you need to make sure you don't accidentally consume it. That is how this looks. This item right here that she throws at you is worth 500,000 gold. This item alone, which I just got in the span of seven minutes. Mind you, I still had to go get her, bring her to my team, get to this area. And I didn't teleport just to make sure you guys knew where I went. But if I did teleport and I already had her from the get go, it would be like five minutes, probably at most. So now that you know how to do that, here's me again going at it, continuing to go out of my way to do this one more time. Just hanging out. I'm at 10 minutes, 11 minutes, whatever. And at around the 12 minute mark, she throws me another one, which I will skip this part, but she does throw me another one. It's coming in here very soon. And there it is. There's a second Royal Curry. Okay. Now that that's over, what you're going to want to do is very straightforward. You're going to want to come over to your game and you're going to want to put, of course, your food inside the uh, shipping bin. Now, if you look at the bottom, it says estimated earnings 1 million gold. Now, as you can tell, all I'm selling is just that and that alone, nothing else. And we're going to wait here so you guys can see me get the 1 million just to make sure, you know, this is legit, obviously, which obviously it is. But there you go. Now, keep in mind, you don't want you don't need to stop there. If you want more money, you can go on ahead and do so. Just however, note that if your friendship level with her is not super high, she will not stay with you past like 9 p.m. or something like that if it's actually very high she might stay there until like midnight or one in the morning or something along the natures of that so if you really want to farm this i suggest increase your friendship level go out of your way to do that it might be a little annoying but it's still very beneficial and uh you can farm it even further like i don't know how long each day is here comes the money by the way so let's let's chill here real quick here it comes and wham there it is one million gold <laughs> insane anywho remember if you want to maximize your efficiency with this i would suggest do it for the whole entire day not just 10 minutes befriend her to like level three or four so that she will actually hang out with you for a longer period of time um and make sure you dodge the curry the royal curry excuse me she throws regular curry just the royal curry remember that it is crucial you will accidentally consume it and that is going to suck <laughs> anywho if this helped you out, please like, please subscribe. Make sure you check out my other, I think it's like 14 or, or 13 uh, tutorials that I've made. And I will see you guys next time.